What's up guys, this is Pete with PS4 Blast and this is my video review of Anima, Gate of Memories. It's developed by the Anima Project, published by Badland. As you are about to see, you know, cool graphics. <laughs> the price is currently at $19.99. And overall, I'll give it an A. Gameplay is phenomenal once you actually calm the camera down. Oh my goodness, the camera. But we'll get to that later. The graphics, I gave an A minus. Everything looks really crisp and clean, but cutscenes are basically just photos. You don't really see the people talking, you see like a portrait of the person, and then they use words. Um, the sound, I give that an A as well. Uh, the voice acting is good. The attacks, you know, they make some cool sounds. It's a little weird that every trash mob calls like a crow when they die, but I don't know. I got over that pretty quick. Um, is there value in this game at the $19.99 price point? I say yes. I say yes emphatically. Um, this game is really fun. Um, the things I liked about it are that the game is very well polished and the controls respond very cleanly. Um, character attacks are well designed. The voice acting is great. My dog barking next to me isn't the best ever, but it is what it is. Um, the bearer of calamities, you know, the little blonde you see right there on the screen. Uh, she is both confident and naive, while her alter ego, Ergo, who is trapped in that book that she's holding on her butt, is really creepy. Which is kind of cool though, because it's fun to hear them talk to each other. And switching between, between the two on the fly actually works very well. The things I disliked, the camera. Boy, here we go. All right, the camera sensitivity is off the charts unless you turn it down. Like I play Call of Duty on a fairly regular basis on a high sensitivity. And I was almost getting motion sickness at zero sensitivity. I turned it down to negative 30 and inverted the x-axis. Now it plays nicely. Inverting the x-axis is almost necessary, by the way. Um, I would have preferred the cutscenes to be actual cutscenes, even if they are just based in the game engine itself. I mean, they, they show you what's going on, but the character's mouth doesn't even really move. You just hear them talking and have a little picture of them down in the corner, and then what's going on plays on the majority of your screen. And the mini-map is 75% useless. Um, the only thing that shows up on your mini-map is your enemies, not your objectives, which would make the game you know, a little better. Nope, just enemies, so you really can't find anything on your mini-map. Well, enough of me battling. Let's show you some gameplay. If you haven't seen our video blast of the game, check that out. Um, it's basically the first boss fight and a little segment leading up to it. Once yeah, I more, thought it was pretty cool. The same dream. Always the same. The little girl runs. She runs to escape the horror that haunts her. But what she sees at the end of the darkness, it's just an even greater nightmare. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. It's time to get out of bed. Ergo? What happened? Where are we? Not a clue. After that light, everything became chaotic. I only know that when I regained consciousness, I was in this place. I've never seen anything like it. How long have I been asleep? A few hours. Before you open your big mouth to complain, 
I tried to wake you up earlier, but stay calm. I assure you, nothing has come close or done anything to you while you slept. Thanks. Well, except me. <laughs> Ugh. So, what's the plan? Are we still looking for your artifact? Or shall we try to find a way out of here? First of all, I think that the most important thing would be to find out where we are and how we got here. Let's collect all the information we can, and later we'll have time to make an appropriate decision. Listen to me, Bane. There's another thing that I need you to know. This place is oppressing me, as if it's trying to choke my very essence. My powers, and therefore yours, are greatly limited. And that means? That you're screwed. You'd better be careful. You... you're worried about me? I don't need that from you. At the time, I didn't want to admit it. But I was calm just because he was there with me. Alright, as you saw right there, Ergo is definitely creepy. Um, open the skill tree. Blah, blah, blah. Unlock some things. Blah, blah, blah. The reason I'm blah, blah, blind is because I can't advance. There we go. Can't really advance until I at Did least unlock one of those things. Was there. I know. Someone's there. These seals are really powerful. I don't think that we can open them, baby. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I've gotten to this point repeatedly and had to turn the game off for one reason or another. Sprinting. What? Wherever we are, this is not the world we both know. Go back. This place is not safe. You? What the hell are you doing here? Not the time or place to talk. Go back from where you came. I will wait for you there. Ergo? You know what that thing was? Let's go back, baby. Answer me. There is something I need to check. Let's go back. Uh. Well, that was interesting. Wow, is it really you? You can't stop seeing me, not even after a generation, eh? I have no choice. There are just some children who need a lot of attention. Hello, Ergo. You can't complain. This time you got a real beauty. There's no comparison to the previous bearers. Nah, she's just a crybaby. You and your eyes are still my favorites. Are you trying to hit on me again? 
Just until it works. Huh. Sorry for ruining your date. Is it possible for one of you to tell me what's happening? We meet at last, Bearer of Calamities. Sorry for my lack of respect. Glad you know who I am. Unfortunately, I still don't know who you are, creature. You don't know? For real? Pathetic. The whole of mankind owes everything to this woman. This creature, as you call her, is who, against all odds, managed to deceive and seal the most powerful monster which has ever walked the world. Hmm. You won't say it was you, right, little book? You are... Elianai Grimoire, the founder of Nathaniel, the first amongst the great saints. You're the woman who sealed Ergo in the Book of the Void. Well, more or less. I'm happy to meet you. Forgive my rudeness. I didn't anticipate anything good from one of Ergo's acquaintances. I can't blame you for that. Also, my appearance is not exactly reassuring. Are you dead? I am as alive as you. But my body is in stasis due to some... problems in the past. What you see now is just a spiritual projection that my mind, awake only for short periods of time, can generate. What's happening, Ellie? Even if I know I am irresistible to you, I know you're not here for me. For you to get personally involved in something is... not a good sign. I'm not here of my own accord. Something called me. And I'm not alone. Just as you are, there are things gathering in this tower. Entities with re- Some are already here, and others, they are still coming. I don't know what it was, but one of the worst ones was just at the end of where I met you. But I think that it already left. Are you kidding me? Should I remind you who you're talking to? I can blow up this whole place with one finger. I can feel how weak you are, Ergo. It's useless to hide it from me. I've never seen you like this. In your current condition, I'm not even convinced you're going to be fine. Or if she will, for that matter. My lady, you don't need to worry about me. I have a mission to accomplish, entrusted to me by the Supreme Inquisitor. Bearer, I know the artifact you're looking for very well. It's a book written by my sister with her own blood. I can assure you, it's not our priority now. I still don't understand the scope of what's happening and where we are. I tried to reach some of these entities, but without success. It seems that access to them is somehow closed. There are different seals somehow linked with fragments of their essence. Maybe if we could obtain some of them. But... I... What's happening? I am unsure. Sorry. I don't think I can sustain this form much longer. Ellie! You should... Sorry. Wait! Damn. Don't worry. She will be fine. She's a tough one. We will see her again soon. For sure. Okay. Let's go. Let's meet those things. That sounds nice. Well, as you see, the cutscenes are very talky, but the acting is fairly decent. And there really isn't any motion from the characters. Like, you see the characters talking, sort of, kind of. You see which ones are talking. Well, like I said, I do enjoy the game. Uh, the issues I have with it are really just minor quibbles that could be major improvements if there's a next game. Um, for now, it's very enjoyable. It's fun. The story's cool. And it's only $19.99. So go ahead, run out and get it. Thank you for watching and